Okay, y'all, once again, it's church yard sale season. It's yard sale season in general here in Virginia anyway. And I went to a couple of them. So that's what this haul is gonna be. It'll be short. Grab a drink, come on back, and I'll roll the intro. Jennifer here with a haul video and here's how it's gonna go down um, I went to it was on Saturday I went to two churchyard sales and then on Sunday I went to one of my local thrift stores the CHKD um, and just I wasn't even looking for reselling but I found a couple things so I'm gonna throw them, them in with this haul we are gonna look at like clothes and shoes that I picked up and then at the very, um, after we look at those three places at the clothes or whatever that I picked up, I'm going to flip the camera down and I, the, one of the churchyard sales, I just bought baggies of jewelry. Um, I didn't look through it all. I just, you know, grabbed some baggies that look good that had multiple pieces of jewelry in them and um well let's open those together and see what i got because i was just like oh you know this looks like about seven pairs of earrings for 50 cent that's a good deal chunk and it went in my bag so we'll open those together and see what i got at the churchyard sale so that's how we're that's how we're playing this game today um the sun is right behind me i'm trying to position myself just right so that it's not blinding you all while you watch um okay so Sunday CHKD I went to look for myself we had like a spirit week this week where we had to wear certain colors for um, I think it was disability awareness week and I honestly I didn't own an orange shirt so I went looking for an orange shirt shirt and I did find some things for resale so just two things though first one if you know me you know I love my sports stuff this is a green bay tie a men's green bay tie um it you know what it's just branded nfl team apparel i paid a dollar 98 for it maybe i can sell it for 10. i just love selling stuff like that this was the big surprise this bag it is a fanny pack it is adjustable it is leather it is woven leather and when i when i saw it and felt it i was like feels like something and I saw Val Valenka that's how I'm gonna say that Holland and I thought ah. so I threw it in my card I kept shopping what's in there? what's in there um I kept shopping and before I checked it checked it out I ran comps on this guys these are selling online um brand new for 75 so i feel like used i'm sorry the sun is like right there i don't know what i can get for it used i'm not sure if i saw any sold used comps used sold comps i think that's the way i needed to word that but if i could get 40 that would be fantastic so i paid 498 for it the leather is in fabulous condition and this this fit around me on the outside of my clothes and I'm a solid 2x so it'll fit plus size you know and of course it should fit um, a regular size person so I think that's fabulous that that was a good pickup that was a good find if you've ever seen that brand the Valenka let me know I'll pop up comps uh, from what I found and if you know anything about it please definitely let me know down in the comments Okay, look, I keep leaning this way and the sun keeps popping out. Okay, the second church art sale I went to, um, I got a few things. Got a, like a sports bra for a dollar. It's an Avia. I plan on keeping this. I'm sure it was sold at Walmart, but I'll keep this. This will be, this will be for me. Um, 
me just, I don't, I don't know if I can. Okay. I want to say that Bob Buys gets Levi's 501s. I want to say she's the one that I watch and she gets them. These are a 3430, which I think is a pretty common size. Button fly. Um, so yeah, they're just a, a normal pair of Levi's men's. I don't um, keep a lot of men's jeans in my closet. I just don't find them that often. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I accidentally stopped the video, but whatever. Um, okay. And then next, I found a Harley shirt. It is the 2017 Sturgis Black Hills Rally. Um, they the great graphic on the back. So I thought this might do well since it's from an actual, um, actual Sturgis event. It's a large, so decent size. Yeah, yeah we'll see. And then the last shirt I got, this, I don't find this often, even in reprints. This is Guns N' Roses. This is from their album, Appetite for Destruction. That, used, that was a two, a two album release. I think I had it on cassette, y'all. That's how old I am. Um, I think it was, there was Appetite for Destruction 1 and Appetite 2. So, this is a reprint. And, you know, I know because of the way this is, this, because if it had been the one from the 80s or the 90s, did Appetite come out in the 90s? I think Appetite came out in the 80s. Use Your Illusion was in the 90s. But anyway, then you would have had a, a paper tag or a physical tag in here and not a printed um, tag. So anyway, I still think it will do just fine. Um, but yeah, I don't find Guns N' Roses that's quite like this very much at all. So happy about that. They were a dollar each. The jeans were a dollar. So, yeah. I paid a dollar each for those. That's Ben's prices. I like that. Alright, this guy was... Look at him. He was 50 cents. It's a little bunny rabbit. And he looks very, very real. And it's Kids of America. These don't sell very high at all. I think, you know, I might... Based on his condition and the way he looks. The fact that he looks this real. I might be able to get 10 for him. But he was 50 cents and he was very cute and I was supporting the church. So this is the last, um, or the, it's actually the very first church I went to. Um, got a pair of Clark's wedges. There's ooh, Clark's collection. I really like it. A lot of their shoes were teeny tiny and I just, teeny tiny stuff tends to sit for me, but the bottoms of these looked great. And they are a size seven W, so they are a wide width. So yeah, I was tickled pink to find some wide width shoes. All right, let's see. I think the rest of this is jewelry. I did get two very, very old French books, but they're for me, they're for my personal use, so I'm not gonna worry about those right now. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to flip, flip us to a down angle, and we're gonna open these little Ziploc bags of jewelry together. All right, so that's, that's what's left in here, is, is a Ziploc bag full of, of jewelry. So let's do that and um and see what i what's in these bags all right be right back okay okay got you flipped pulled out the first bag this bag you see was marked two dollars and i noticed that it had this big belt in it so it, it looked like you know maybe somebody threw in a whole set of something so let's pull all this out see what we've got. All right. 
we have, let's look at this belt first. Oh, I like this. Check out this 80s piece of magic. Um, I see something written on it. It's like three slashes and a B. Anybody familiar with that? Um, I am not. And yeah, so there we go. We've got a beautiful 80s belt. That is fabulous. <laughs> that is just fabulous. This feels like, um, like suede. So cool. All right. I'll try to get it back in this bag. So everything in here I paid $2 for. We just have a little plastic bangle. Now I don't know if it's considered plastic or acrylic. There is zero seam. No seam on it. So, I don't know what that means. Okay, oh, we've got a little set of, let me move, let's move these to the side. We've got a little set of little beads. These are all faceted, and they are also like a plasticky material. They definitely need to be cleaned. You got a super old, these are probably vintage looking at this clasp. That clasp is super old. Um, so yeah, interesting. All right, we've got this set of beads. I'm gonna double it up to put it under here. So it's like little red, they look like Tic Tacs. <laughs> And then these other black beads, they feel like they're plastic or acrylic. And yeah, it's just one that you would pull over your head. Okay. We have all the red and black going on. Then we have this beauty. With these discs, like red and black discs, gold beads in between, these long, like acrylic black pieces, chunkier ones, and that is a very interesting clasp. I've never seen a clasp like that. I'm trying to figure out how you, you do this. Hang on. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what you do. I do not see any type of maker's mark on this. And it just looks like a piece of 80s fashion jewelry, honestly. So there we go. And then there's one little tiny pair of earrings that was in this bag. So all of that was $2. And we had these little teeny tiny stud earrings. Kind of a, almost like a cat's eye red plastic prong set. That's very interesting. Um, usually don't see like an acrylic like that that's prong set. Okay. Well, there's one. That was cute. Let's pull another one out. Let's see what we can come up with. Alright. Looks like Alright. Looks like I paid 50 cents for this one. Let's dump it out and see what's going on. got this seed bead necklace with all these like reds oranges in it oh this one's long y'all that thing's got to be over 30 inches so it's multi-layered um and this little tag says india on it and what's it got on the other side it has a flower on the other side like a rose okay that's pretty very summery to me okay and then let's look at the uh, other one that you see in your in the view Wait, i'm gonna move my water so i can set that up there okay this is gorgeous look at the stone and this bale it is marked on the inside we'll take a look at that in just a minute So you just got this 
this necklace. That one bead is a little weird color, but got this one. Toggle clasp. Let's look and see if there's anything marked on it. Looking, looking for marks. Oh, I see one right here. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I see 925 China on there. So, this thing could be silver. Um, we'll have to, I'll have to test it and find out. I need more testing um, acid. All right, so looking at it really close, let me see. I doubt I can get my camera to focus on that. Um, it says WK, let's see, maybe it'll come in. WK925 China. Okay. And then I thought I saw something written on the bale or stamped in the bale. So let's see if we can get that apart and look at it. I think I see the same thing on there. Pretty sure right in there. Right in there it says the same thing. No. WK925. So, hey, for 50 cents, did I just get sterling and turquoise? Mm. I may have, y'all. Okay, I got this bag. Lots of clip ons. It looks like I paid 50 cents for it. Let's dump it out. Dump. Mm. Okay. Let's start right here. All right, these just feel like wood. They're hooked together. Um, I don't see any marks on them, like any maker's marks. Uh, can't get it apart. Hold on. I thought I could slide that right through, but no. I was thinking that was a mark, but it looks like it just looks like little lines. It doesn't really look like a mark. So, I don't know. Don't know, you guys. Yeah. Anyway, they're just little wooden earrings. I feel like these are probably maybe the 70s. If I had to date those, maybe the 70s. All right. Let's go. Oh, here's another pair, almost identical, just a darker wood. Let's see if we see anything on these. No, the same like dashes right there, but I don't see any like name. Okay, so maybe another pair. And like I said, I, I feel like 70s, this would have been a thing. Okay grab this guy. These, ooh, they need some washing or something. I don't know what's going on here, but you've got some kind of green funky and something peeling right here. So these might not be any good, or they might just need to be, an, be overhauled. Looking for a mark, and I do see right here, I see the word Japan. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So that's cool. I mean, except for the fact that it's this is peeling. Oh, just picked it off. I don't know, you know, if I should try to do anything with them. They're pretty. It peeled off the back side, so that's not a big deal, I don't think. So, some Japan clip ons. I love clip on earrings. Let's see, is that you? Yep. Okay. So here's a little pair of, ooh, I bet my grandma would have worn something like that in the 60s. They're pretty. Um, do you see any marks on them? Oh my gosh, this is hard to pull apart. I do not. No marks. Okay. Alrighty these giant white ones. 
just like big white buttons. I could totally see these being 60s or 70s. Need to be a, they need a little washeroo. I don't see any Maker's Mark. Well, hang on. No, I don't think that is. I was thinking there was one right there, but I don't think it is. Let me see the other one. No, I don't think it is. So, they've got good snap. See, I could totally see these in the 60s or 70s with some white go go boots. Um, some, this looks like a silver tone, like almost like a basket weave design. All right, let's see what we see here, if anything. I see they need to be cleaned big time, but I don't see any maker's marks. On them, but they definitely need a good clean. Alrighty. These are pretty. Let's take them apart and look at them separately. Aren't those cute? They're like flowers with a pearl in the middle. Might be a faux pearl. And, oh, okay, here we got a name. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Berger. Berger, which Berger jewelry can do well. I think it, you know, like anything, it depends on the piece. But yay, a pair of Berger clip-ons, and they look like little flowers. I love that. All right, let's grab these pink ones that are chilling out over here. They look pretty. Every day, run of the mill, clip ons, no, no marks on them anywhere. Oh, They're very pale pink, very 50s. I always think back to some of those TV shows that I used to watch, like I Dream of Jeannie and Happy Days and what the women were wearing and that's what well, that is a lot of times maybe not the most accurate way but a lot of times that is how i guesstimate something's date is did it look like something these don't match what am i doing did it look like something that um that mrs cunningham wore from leave oh, not leave it to be from happy days did it look you know did it look like something the genie would have worn. All right, these two match. All right, so we got some screw backs. I love screw back earrings. Little faux pearls. I'm gonna guess they're faux. Um, let's see if we see anything on them. I don't. I don't see anything written on them. So those are cute little screw backs. And then we'll grab the other screw backs since they were right there. They need a good cleaning. They got gunk all over them. Is there anything written on them? Hold on. I feel like there is, but I can't tell what. I think it says Japan. I think right there it says Japan. So that's cool with these little, you know, kind of like silver shimmer discs. All right. Oof. Oh, interesting. It's rare to see clip-on dangles. But here we have some clip-on dangles. Dangle this correctly. There we go. Those are pretty. Alrighty. Don't see anything written on them. I do not don't see any maker's mark. But they are pretty. Okay. Let's grab this guy. Ooh, look at this. This is a ring. It is kind of like adjustable because it's not, you know, 
one continuous circle, but it's a beautiful piece of glass. So all of this is like, yeah, all of this is glass. How pretty, let's see. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's a very cool ring. It's like a surfboard. Love it. Okay. This feels like like really plasticky. <laughs> and they're all faceted. They look like little disco balls. Check these out. They're pretty. These remind me of something that MMA the Metropolitan Museum of Art would do. These are kind of like an Art Deco looking piece. Okay, let's see if I can unscrew them and get them apart. All right, I was looking for a maker's mark. Let me look at them again. Aren't those pretty? The red on that is just gorgeous. All right, um, do I see anything on them? I was trying to decide if I saw something written right there. I might have to really get out my loop and look kind of hard on these to see if there's anything written on them. But they're pretty. They are very, very pretty. Okay. This one, I do not see a match to. This is, okay, this is interesting. So it says holiday on ice and it's got these little ice skates. This looks old. I'm talking old. Interesting, look at this pin back. That is a very old looking pin back. I wouldn't even know how to begin to tell what date this was. That's like etched in. It's not just stamped on there. Interesting. Okay. Hey, not a bad bag for 50 cents. Okay, let's grab another bag. This looks like it was a quarter. It only looks like one necklace. Let's see what we got. Okay. It's very pretty. Myself. I got stuff all over it. Okay. Oh, look at this, you guys. How pretty is that? It's all like white and frosted and clear beads. It's a four strand. And what does it have right here? It says Liz Claiborne. Okay. I can sell Liz Claiborne jewelry. So yeah, that's a really pretty piece. It looks like all the rhinestones are in the spacer bars, which is great. I think, I think that one's there. Yes, it is there. Okay. So yeah, that's awesome. Okay. I like it. Not bad for a quarter. It's uh, Memorial Day weekend is coming up, and that's the big yard sale season. Oops. I just picked up this bag and dumped out everything that was in it, so I'm just going to throw them down here and grab the bag. I don't know what I paid for it because I don't see the price on it, so I would think I paid more than a dollar for it. I'll look and see later if the price is under there. All right, so we got move these guys out of the way. We have this beautiful piece. Oh, I see a barrel clasp on it. There we go. Um, all of this is acrylic. But yeah, that's pretty. And like I said, a barrel clasp. I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it, but I would be willing to bet with this barrel clasp that it is vintage. Very nice. 
I like it. It's got something blue on it. Oh, I think some of the paint is chipping off. Sad. Okay. Um, where'd it go? I was trying to figure out where the little bag went. Uh oh, it might have gotten away from me. Okay. I'll drop them right there. This looks like some Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> this is what I would use them for, is Mardi Gras beads. So, I'll put them in my collection. I, um, we celebrate Mardi Gras in school with my kids. I celebrate as a, a way to do a cultural unit. I give everybody Mardi Gras beads. Alright. Let me untangle this, because now it's in a knot. Okay. I love how heavy this feels. So, I'm gonna go ahead and clasp it. Got a nice extender chain, good size one. Not that it needs it. Check this out and look at the way these sparkle. They are gorgeous. Okay, and gold tone. It's like a champagne color and some peach and like gold. All right, and let's look. Oh, check that out. Joan Rivers. I got a Joan Rivers. I don't think I've ever found a Joan Rivers necklace. That's fantastic. I don't see a price tag down there. I honestly don't know what I paid for that bag, but like I said, except for that one bag with the belt in it, nothing was marked over a dollar. So you see those were marked a dollar. Now I did see in here, this this was something I saw. And I knew I wanted that for a dollar. It's like, yes, I want that for a dollar. Okay. Let's dump that out. And we'll look at them first. So, wasn't a it's like um, a flower and a butterfly. I have almost this identical bracelet, but in red. <laughs> okay. And then, I don't know if these would be marked anything. I'll take a quick peek and see. I don't see any type of mark. So. Very pretty clip-ons. Okay. Yeah. Grab this. Oh, got another ring. Very similar to the last one. This band is identical to the last one. And it's another glass piece. So look at that. That's very pretty. Oh, I like it. It's red and black. I really like that. Okay. I have no idea what this is. What, do, what does one do with this? I, I am clueless, y'all. If anybody knows what to do with that, let me know. Let me know. Okay, this feels like a kid's toy. Um, because of the fact that the beads are like this and you pop them in. Um, so yeah, this will just go. I say garbage, you know. Okay, and then we've got these little leaves. It looks like all of the, um, enamel is coming off. I would, I would probably scrape it all off and clean them up and maybe try to sell them without the enamel. Who knows? May not even mess with them at all. Ooh, they look really crusty. Um, <laughs> yeah, every time I shut it, more enamel comes off. So, there we go. They look pretty, pretty doggone old. And then these look hand-painted glass. So, there's a, like a foil on this side. And yeah. 
guys, I think that was everything. I think that was all the jewelry I got. So let's stop this and say our goodbyes. And uh, yeah, we'll hang tight, hang tight. Okay, well that was fun. It was fun getting to open those and see what all kind of little goodies we have. I have some jewelry to clean. I have things to list. Um, and I hope, hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm excited about some of the earrings and the rings and the Joan Rivers necklace. I really like that. So that was it. Um, and until the next, oh, I'm sorry. If you like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Maybe if you learned something, um, from it, or if you got some information and until, let's see, I, getting all flustered over here um if you're not already subscribed i would love it if you subscribe to the channel um i try to put out two videos a week one every wednesday one every saturday i do thrift hauls yard sale hauls like this i'll do mystery unboxings um what else do i do i do what sold videos so if reseller content such as that is interesting to you, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow my subscribers to a thousand by December. Right now I'm in the 520 something range, maybe 522. So it is slowly, slowly growing and I love it. Um, and until the next video, I'm gonna say a tout à l'heure. See you later.